Knife Joe. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy is back with a fresh batch of dope. Like dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Now, even though I love my American-made knives, and especially my Taiwanese-made knives, I still got, uh, still got room to love some of this Chinese dope. It's not a secret. There are some, uh, a few Chinese knives I love. Case in point would be this beauty. This, of course, is the Alliance Design Kraken. Knife so nice that I bought it twice. And not only that, this was actually my runner-up for Knife of the Year last year in 2023. Matthew Christensen design, Japanese Tonto apparatus, you name it, this knife has got it. And it's also got this feature, which is the thumb disc for deployment. That is the uh, only form of deployment on this knife. And when I shared the picture of this knife the other day, the homies gave me, uh, gave me a hard time. They allege that the thumb disc is the gayest form of deployment in the knife world. Now, they may not have used the word gayest. They may have said it was the worst. But I know what they really meant, goddammit. They were hating. Now, the question is to y'all, is the thumb disc the worst form of deployment? Let me know in the comments and we'll do a, uh, do a video about it. Now, as great as all this sounds and as good as this knife looks, that's not what we're here to talk today about, people. Not at all. Got a new batch of dope that was sent my way, courtesy of the man himself. And so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Now, the man I speak of is a legend in these EDC streets, talking about none other than Mr. Don Farmer, otherwise known as DNK Knives. DNK Knives have got all the dope you need, whether foreign or domestic, and he's now accepting sizzle, so you can make those irresponsible purchases interest-free. Over four payments, I might add. Just be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE for 10% off your purchase. Okay, people, the shilling has stopped. All right, now, Mr. Don is a sweet man. He's a friend of mine at this point. Um, that should be no secret if you follow the channel. He sent me this at my request. Now, now this is the, one of the newest offerings from ProTech. Uh, this one is called the TR3 Integrity Manual. That's right, goddammit. Manual Button Lock. Now, if you know anything about ProTech, you'll know that, you know, they are synonymous with the auto. That's kind of uh, what they're known for. And that is about 99%, 99.9% no .9 of their products are, uh, are automatics. But they make some outstanding manual knives. Uh, and this time around is absolutely no different. Uh, this, like I mentioned, is the TR3 Integrity uh, brought to us from ProTech. 100% USA made. Now, there are several variations of this knife to go with. Uh, the one I have here in front of you is the gray relic steel handle variant, uh, which is pretty pricey, uh, $525. Now, when it came time for Blade Show Atlanta this year, this was one of the knives, you know, when I was going to the show, I was kind of open-minded. I really wasn't positive what I wanted, but this was one that was on my radar that I really wanted. Um, I had also considered buying the Cedar. Anyways, there was a couple of knives. This was one of the ones that was really, I was really hot on. I had heard about it prior to the show, um, and it's lived up to the hype. Uh, first off, it's a manual. I think ProTech needs to give us more of these. Uh, they've had the Mordax and the Malibu in the past, uh, so we get a nice set of robust tits for deployment. That is actually the first time that they've used tits on one of their manuals, I believe. Uh, then there's back to this scale, or rather this handle. Uh, rather weighty, coming in at 6.7 ounces. This is solid, solid... Um, High grade stainless steel. I don't know what type of steel, but it's fucking, it's premium, goddammit. Uh, gray relic, or rather the, the, the pattern is called relic. Uh, looks like a bunch of triangles type of situation. Uh, we got some nice jimping there on the spine as well. Folded over stainless steel pocket clip. Not crazy about that, uh, but it is nicely inset. Uh, let's get back to the, uh, to the knife, shall we? Woo! And the detent is dialed the fuck in. Now, I'm going to tell you, they, uh, they've always had good detents on their manuals. Uh, the Malibu and Mordax, no complaints. 
Uh, but this time around, this TR3 is definitely hitting different. Uh, they have perfected the recipe. Uh, we've got eight inches for your overall length, so nice full-size knife. 3.5 inches of S35VN in this beautiful drop point apparatus. Love that swedge there on the spine of the blade. We've got the Protec branding there on the flat here on the show side. Also got the steel, um, steel identification down there as well. And then a nice sterile presentation there on the, uh, on the clip side. Speaking of clip, it is right hand tip up carry only. We've got 120 thousandths blade stock thickness. Ergonomically, there is no spot to choke up, but they do give you a great uh, sharpening toil, so plenty of sharpening life to speak of. Um, I mean, 6.7 ounces, it is a fucking tank. Uh, there is a shit ton of milling going on down there, so I can only imagine what this thing would have come in if they didn't do so much heavy milling. Uh, we also got some nice micro jimping going on right up in here, or micro milling rather, excuse me. Uh, micro milling. Now when it comes to the lockup on this, this is a plunge lock. I've got no blade play right, left, up or down. Out fucking standing. Essentially locking up tighter than frog's ass. Now the button has also got a mother of pearl inlay on your actuator button. We've got T8s in the pivot. Um, the only tooling you'll see here on the show side is right there on the pivot. Um, but then if you look on the clip side, you see we've got no tooling. I really wish they'd have just flipped that around, you know. They could have easily done that, given us the non-tooling uh, here on the show side. Uh, as you can see, you've had no hardware uh, visible there as well. Uh, all the tooling to the hardware is on the back. Uh, like I mentioned, it is T8, and uh, the hardware is also nice and nice and flush. Is that T8 or is that T10? No, that's T8. Uh, the hardware sits nice and flush, recessed hardware. I mean, people, when I tell you that this is the fucking... Best button lock in the game. I don't care. Anybody try me. This is uh, so impressive that I think, unfortunately, I think it might be replacing, um, replacing one that I have here that I love very much. You know, this knife, I felt so good about this knife, um, you know, and I wanted to do the video. Felt so good about it that I ended up snagging one myself. Um, this is the one that just touched down for me. Uh, this is more my jam for a couple of reasons, primarily because of the handle material. Uh, this is in aluminum, so a big weight difference as far as that goes. Uh, same thing as, as everything that I just talked about on, the, on the, uh, the steel variant. Apply it to this. Wonderful detent. Uh, you know, solid lockup. I just think that black one looks a little bit better than me, uh, and it's lighter. But nonetheless, back to this beauty which Don sent me. Uh, let's go ahead and put some knives up for some size comparison. Basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Gotta roll with America first. So I hit him like this. Protec Mordax. Rocking robust set of tits. I think, I think Protec saw my, saw my modded uh, Mordax and decided to, uh, to do the same for this uh, TR3. Allegedly. More American dope for your palate. We've got the iconic Brown Knives Mini FSD, number 427 to be exact. So there you see those. Let's do a couple more, shall we? How about this beauty? The award-winning Spyderco Para 3. Haven't shown her off in a minute. Then we got this one. Recent acquisition is going to be getting heavy pocket time right alongside that TR3. And that is, of course, the Quiet Carry... Drift LCT. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. More Taiwan vibes. We're gonna go with the uh, Cold Steel Full Metal Atlas. Reason I chose that one uh, because you know it's got nicely done, uh, you know, milling. Granted, that is a uh, titanium handle on the Cold Steel, but I just thought, fuck it, it looks good side by side. And then last but certainly not least, Chinese knife of the year for the price point. That is, of course, the Kun uh, Wu Compadre. Almost forgot, goddammit. So there you see the TR3 up against those. Yep, yep, yep. As I try to reflect on, you know, my journey and wh where I've gotten to, you know, to this point, a company that I think kind of I've uh, not really given much acknowledgement to has got to be ProTech. 
I mean, every knife I've ever gotten from them, I've never had an, I, actually, I lie. I did, I had an issue once, but they addressed it so fast and, and so, you know, so thoroughly that it just almost makes no sense to complain about it because they, they took care of it. Um, you know, they, they, they stepped the game up on their heat treats. I remember like when I first started fucking with the brand, like in 2022, uh, when Magna Cut came out, like they were, you know, they were just like everybody. They were on the softer side of the equation when it came to HRC, but they quickly, they got called out by somebody and they stepped it up and it's been, you know, 63, 64, um, HRC from that point going forward. I think my Mordax was 63, I believe. Uh, but nonetheless, this is the real star of the show, goddammit. Protect TR3 Integrity Manual. It's a good one, people. Trust me, as I never shit you. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Does this TR3 Integrity replace that Mordax? I don't know. Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers! <laughs>